Driving around on a racetrack is, of course, huge fun. But before you even consider heading out onto a circuit in a massively powerful car like this BMW M5, you need to check the basics. Make sure your tyres and brakes are in a good condition. Check your fluid levels. And, of course, make sure the car is properly fueled up because you'd be surprised at how quickly you burn through fuel when giving it full beans. We are running slightly low on fuel. Are we? Yeah. This is where my concentration tongue comes out. I'll do this. <laughs> and I'll say, I'll do. That's three tenths a lap. <laughs> <laughs> premium, you're going premium. Mm, v power. Okay. It's a more expensive one, though, right? It is, yeah, but it's worthwhile. But there's lots of weird scientific reasons why it's better. Why? Okay, Nicola, to explain why this stuff is so good for your car. I'm going to have to take you to northern Germany. That might sound really weird, but I know a guy there who can explain. OK, Yusuf doesn't do things by half. It turns out that his master plan was to drive me 650 miles from our test track to Shell's technical centre in Hamburg. There we'd find out exactly how Shell V-Power works from the people who create it, including Rudy, one of Shell's fuel scientists. Nice to meet you. Hi, Yusuf. Nice to meet you. We've come a very long Hi. way to learn about Shell V-Power. So what goes on in here? It looks quite complicated. Yeah, you're at the right place. Actually here in the Shell Technology Center in Hamburg, it's one of the main places where the international team of Shell fuel scientists has developed new and improved Shell V-Power. Right, so we've just done like a 10 hour journey to get here today and the whole trip, Yusuf is banging on about how amazing V-Power is because I am that person that just puts in regular, unleaded in my car. But Yusuf was saying that the new and improved V-Power can clean like really critical components of the engine up to 100%. Is that right? Uh, yes, Yusuf is, is true actually. <laughs> um, using regular fuels uh, may cause over time the buildup of deposits on critical engine parts such for example in petrol engines, um, the inlet valves like we see here. Because they are so tiny, I can show you it a little bit magnified. Yeah. So have a look on the screen. So actually, here you can see how the deposits, how thick the deposits have built up on the inlet valve where fuel and the fuel is sprayed over into the combustion chamber. Those deposits are like a sponge, so they will suck and keep some of the fuel, which actually shall be burned and deliver power to the wheels. And that will not happen, so the engine is running less efficient. By using new and improved Shell V-Power, you can wash them away right from the first start after refilling. Once the carbon is, the deposits are removed and it looks like this, you have back again the full power the engine was designed to deliver. It starts from the first refill, from the first time you switch it on. Right, of course, engine performance and efficiency have improved massively over the decades. But Rudy and a team of scientists have developed Shell V-Power to bring benefits to older cars, as well as new ones fitted with small turbocharged petrol engines so common today. So what about the latest version? The new and improved Shell V-Power petrol has a new deposit control additive um, that enables us to clean up to 100% of uh, performance robbing deposits on critical fuel system components. So how does that work? We have here the holes where the fuel is sprayed into the combustion chamber and over time deposits can start to form and even grow inside of the holes and start to block them. But in new and improved Shell V-Power we have our magic deposit control additive <laughs> and the molecules you can imagine like this. And with every fuel injection the cleaning molecules will pick up some dirt. Oh. So now you're the fuel and clean up a hole. <laughs> Can I do it? Yeah, of course. Can I do it? <laughs> oh, that's, that's really satisfying. Lovely actually, job. After that, well, interesting practical demonstration, Rudy took us over to another facility to show us how Shell V-Power is tested before being distributed to customers all over the world. You know, we developed new and improved Shell V-Power fuels over five years and we've done a lot of testing. One of the test facilities we use is this test cell, which is a rolling road, so a chassis dynamometer. So this is how you test efficiency, things like that? Yes, yeah. exactly. We've been talking about fuel a lot today, but 
there's also electric cars, but you guys have Shell Recharge, right? Yes, that's right. I mean, EVs are a complete different story. Yeah. But yeah, here on site and within Shell, we are looking into charging uh, of battery electric vehicles, how to do this most efficient, most reliable. And we test charges here on, on site just to make sure that they work anytime you have to recharge your vehicle. So what do you recommend? Are you convinced by V-Power? After all this time, we've driven 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am, actually. Okay. So I, it was a worthwhile trip then. It really was. <laughs> so, as you can see, not all petrol is created equal. It's been really interesting to see how Shell has worked on V-Power to deliver not only better performance, but also a cleaner running engine, regardless of how old the car is. It's complicated chemistry, but it works.